Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this particular lecture we will learn how we could go ahead and loop through or map through arrays uh, which do not have this key and how to replace this particular key attribute for them. So before to this we have taken this example wherein we have an array of objects and each object had the specific ID for each item which we had here. But what if you don't have these IDs? What happens in that case? So let's take an example for that. So I'll simply open up the developer tools here and we will be writing some code over here uh, so as to see the effect in real time. So ignore these warnings for now. We have these warnings because we have actually imported certain components and we have not used them over here. So you could ignore these warnings from here. And now let's create an array here, which is nothing but it's going to be a list of fruits. So I would say const. Uh, let's say fruits equals and let's add a bunch of fruits here. So apple, uh, let's say mango and then uh, let's say banana. Okay, so once we have this, uh, let's actually print up the array here. And as you can see, we simply have array of elements which has three fruits. Now the question is, how exactly would you be able to find the key attribute for these? So let's say, for example, if you have to list those particular products up over here or list those particular fruits up over here, and if you want to display them uh, by mapping through each one of the fruit here, what you need to do is that you need to replace product with fruit here, and that will actually do the trick. However, the problem is, now this particular array does not have any sort of a key value for them. In this particular case, we had used the product's ID as the key, but we don't have any IDs up over here for them. So one way of finding the IDs or one way of assigning keys to these individual elements is by actually making use of the index of these values. So for example, if you do fruits, dot and index of so index of is a method which allows you to find the index of a specific element inside the array so let's say if you want to find the index for mango simply type in mango and you will get the index as one if you would do index of apple it will give you the index as zero and if you would do index of banana it will give you the index of banana as two now these values which you get from the index of method can actually be used as the keys of the specific element. So let's go ahead and try to copy this particular array which is the fruits array and let's try to loop through that array up over here. So I'll say const fruits here and now let's actually replace this product list with fruit list and one more thing which you could do is that you could simply copy this for now, paste it up over here and then comment this particular code out. And once that is commented, you could actually replace this product list with fruits list and products with fruits because fruits is the array which we are looping through. And this should be uncommented. And now here we should replace it with fruit and then this product.id should now be replaced with the fruit index. So the question is how exactly to get the index of every fruit which we have up over here. So here we have used the index of method. However, whenever you are using the map function, you can get access to the array element as well as the index right up over here. So in order to get the access to index of every fruit, I need to simply give a comma and type an index. So this will actually give me a fruit along with its index. So here for the key, I just have to pass in index and over here instead of product.name and product.price, I simply have to pass in fruit. And over here, instead of product list, I need to say fruit list or fruits list. So once we do that and once we go back here, as you can see, we have a list of fruits here and we no longer would get a warning in the console like the key is not defined. Or else if you didn't had this particular attribute, it will actually give you an error which says that each child in the list should have unique key prop. So let's get back to the previous code and if we hit refresh, we no longer have an error. 
And if you really want to check the index value for each one of these items here, what you could also do is that you could get rid of this H3 from here. And instead you could simply go ahead and console log the value of index. So if that thing is done, as you can see, you will get the index values for all of these three fruit items. So this is the approach which you should follow whenever you don't have a unique ID for the elements inside your array and you have to loop through that array and render them onto your web page. Or else, whenever possible, always have an array of objects where each object would have a unique ID. Now, another way of handling this type of situation is that you use a third party library which would create unique IDs for the items which you have. So there are multiple third party libraries available for React which generate unique identifiers which you could use as IDs for the elements which you have. So we will be making use of them in the upcoming lectures. But for now, just remember the two approaches of adding keys. The first one is to directly get an unique ID from the array of objects. The next one is to simply go ahead and make use of the index of an array as the key attribute. So that's it for this lecture and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.